What's up guys, Duck Opinion here, and I want to talk about basically why do people hate Security Breach. So let me give you my opinion first. I really enjoy the lore. I really enjoy the characters and the fact that in two years we have been buying the characters, we've been looking up every bit of information, and we've fallen in love with them. So I feel like no matter what, I would have liked the premise and the characters no matter what. Now, the gameplay, this game is a stealth game. It, there's no other way to put it. I don't know what I was really expecting, but I personally don't like stealth games, but I think this game does it good. Coming from someone that doesn't like stealth games, I don't like to sit around and don't do anything, but there is no real attack. Like, you eventually unlock a little gun, you do have a flashlight, but that doesn't really stun anyone, and you do eventually get a camera flash, and these things kind of stun them, but there isn't any way to really take anyone out. This is a full stealth game and that's something you might want to know before you get into it so what are the real major problems now of course when it first came out it, it was a buggy mess like a lot of the missions can be broken um, you can get your game soft locked where you can get trapped in certain areas you can um, find a lot of the animatronics being glitched through walls a lot of the areas you can kind of jump over the fence and kind of avoid tons of the areas and all this stuff can be patched out i just wonder because this game got delayed the first day it was supposed to come out it got delayed 12 hours for a day one patch what was this game like before the patch more importantly what was this game a year ago when it got delayed for a whole entire year because it seems to me they scrapped a huge majority of this game if you look at the trailers, it really builds up Vanny as being the number one villain. Like, she looks like she chases you a lot. It looks like Vanessa probably helps you. And eventually you find out she's Vanny is what I'd figure. And it continued to be really epic. But when you actually play the game, Vanessa's really kind of mean. She's not there to help you at all. She wants to find you. And at one point she does capture you and throw you in uh, parts and service. And she's really mean about it. Like, at no point is she really trying to help you. And as for Vanny herself, she shows up, I think, three times in the game. But I only saw her once. She might have showed up some other times, but I only saw her one time. It was in that parts and service area when Vanessa captures you. That's the only time I've ever actually saw Vanny show up in-game besides one little cutscene where she walked past you at the very beginning of the game. After that, I never saw her again. Never. I found her hideout, which was a glitch, and it made me glitch into her ending, which I have no clue. It just kind of played, and I was like, what happened? And the game ended, which sucked. Kind of spoiled the game a little for me. But she doesn't show up. She's not part of it at all. And honestly, I can't tell you who's the real villain here. At the end of the game, there's multiple endings. And I gotta say, the multiple endings, all of them besides one, they go to this like comic book strip and they show you a little comic book strip of how it ends. It takes about a minute or two to get through. And then it just rolls credits. It's completely underwhelming. And we're talking about a game here that starts off with like a two or three minute huge cinematic video. Of all the animatronics dancing and then Freddy breaking down. We have Freddy talking to us the whole time. People moving around. Everyone's talking. And then we get to the end of it. And we get little tiny pictures on a comic book they totally copped out on the end i much rather they have kept that intro and didn't make it and just give us comic book intros and then start off with freddy and then give us cool huge cinematics for the ending i much rather that than that huge intro cinematic like you're playing the game for like 10 15 hours to get to an end and then you get little comic book strips and credits that was one of the most heart-wrenching and most breakdown stuff that really killed it for me like you don't go through all that to just to get little shitty comic book endings and I really 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 hate that so there's another thing like once you start getting the mall open yes the mall is big and it's beautiful but I would have been okay if they would have cut the mall in half and actually had more story to it again missing the Vanessa stuff missing there's not really a bad guy and, and then they show I mean, spoilers, but I'm pretty sure that they show Glitch Trap and like a, a Freddy on fire at the end of the game that wasn't ever in the game to begin with. Maybe off in the distance, if you do some Easter egg stuff, you might be able to unlock some special stuff. But in the main game, these characters are nowhere to be found and they just show up at the end. You defeat them through one little cutscene that's like two seconds long and they give you some story reel. 
another story reel on a comic book strip and it ends it just terrible ending for the game. I know I mentioned that already, but as I was talking about the mall, I feel like they shouldn't have expanded it. It's fun to explore, but it's loading screens everywhere. It's not really fully open because there's like parts in between that close to kind of like fake the loading screen, but it's a real loading screen. It's not really fully open, but the parts are beautiful. They're just empty. Like you go into Monty's Gator area and you see this little spinning ride. There's no way to activate the spinning ride. You see a Ferris wheel. There's nowhere to get on the Ferris wheel. You can't even sit down in a seat. Hey, and um, you know what time like the arcades, the there are arcades open. everywhere. You Why can't you play so any of them. I think there's five in like hidden areas that you can play. There's a couple of princess quests. There's one where you can actually golf. There's a little balloon boy mini game. But like those are just like hidden in the back Easter eggs. For some reason when this game first came out, I just envisioned us being able to go in this huge arcade, playing all the games, different mini games, being able to mini golf, although you can, but being able to bowl, just being able to actually interact with the mall that you were supposed to love and enjoy so much, but it's just, nothing is interactive. Like, you can't press hardly anything to start anything, and it's just so let down. Like, it really let me down how big and great the mall is, but there's nothing to do in it. I'd much rather them cut the mall in half, add Vanny to the actual story, add progression of Vanessa to the actual story and us discovering that she's Vanny and us maybe, you know, breaking the spell and her helping us and finding out who Glitchtrap is and fighting him and going through all that stuff and maybe repeated areas than just have a big empty mall. Because in reality, they really must have cut the game a year ago tack together these little endings and just realize that they really bit off more than they can chew for an indie developer because this game it does feel like it just should have been developed by a triple a studio and should have cost sixty dollars but instead we got an indie developer that really wanted to do a good job but they just couldn't do it with their team and we really got kind of a half half-assed game and I'm, I'm almost eight minutes here i apologize but Honestly, I think that's why so many people are disappointed. You watch the trailers and like what it seems to build up of Vanny and Vanessa just isn't there. You see this amazing mall, but you literally can't do anything in it. You can't even sit down. You see these really cool mechanics for the uh, animatronics to chase you, but literally the moment a stupid robot grabs you, they just spawn an animatronic behind you and you just run away from it. There's a uh, little terrible cutscenes at the end instead of an epic cinematic. I'd much rather them have one ending that's epic and cinematic than ten little cutscenes of comics. It's just completely underwhelming and that's not even mentioning all the bugs. That's not even mentioning um, the game breaking glitches that can literally make people have to restart. That's not even like mentioning that this game got delayed. Like I can't imagine what it was like before the delay. It must have been such a buggy mess but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys disappointed with Security Breach? Like I said, I personally am still enjoying it. I love the lore. I want to see what they do of it and where they go of DLC. And I do think it'll be a great game. And we're going to cover it fully, what happens, how it upgrades. But I see why people are disappointed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're disappointed or not. And let me know what are some things that disappointed you in Security Breach. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys later. Dust can fly. Like, subscribe. Peace.